Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn and see how we can make a HTTP multi-part form data request within Power Automate. So what is multi-part form data request? Whenever we want to submit a large amount of data or send files or post files to custom API, then we go for multi-part form data request, where each part contains a piece of data within a single HTTP request. So in reality, like it's a uh, quite typical and complex to construct this entire body for this multi-part data request within Power Automate. So if I just uh, Google and tell you that uh, Power Automate multi-part form data request, people are struggling because they have to write this custom typical body by hand and there are chances of making syntax errors. So uh, I can show you one quick tip or the way where you can actually create any multi-part form data request body complex body without writing anything just uh, with a couple of tweaks so what i am going to do is i am going to create one simple instant cloud flow first of all and i'll skip the trigger i'll just create http request received so that i can generate one custom endpoint or url which can be hit through postman and it can generate the complex this entire body for our multi-part form data request automatically so i'll just say this who can trigger this so anyone i want it anonymous and i'll just in the next step i'll just send uh, use one simple activity of send an email just for the testing purpose because i want to say save this flow and i need one dummy activity or action so i'll just say my name over here and just test email and test body for now and we are good so once i save it i will have this url generated after save and this url i'll just copy and then do a test run from postman so i'll copy this url and in the method i have to change this method to post because i want to post files so i'll just change post and then again do a save and meanwhile i'll open this postman and i'll close the existing urls and i'll just change this method to post method paste the copied url this the, this is the copied url and you can paste it over here and in the body in the authorization just keep that as no auth because it's anonymous call and just say form data because we want to do a multi-part form data request in this key just add your attribute whatever attribute you wish to make so this selfie i would say it's a file it's a it will be an image file and i'll just say select one of the test file and let's say with it i want to send some custom attribute as well so i'll just uh, say that custom attribute let's say 0 0.75 and I'll just do a send so that it can send do an action so status is 202 that means it called our this power automate so I'll just go to power automate and I will check whether this test instance got called or not so it was called so so far we are good and in this step we haven't write anything yet once i open this request received you can see i got this body and this body is nothing this is the same body which people are trying to uh, if i just go to over here in this existing thread where people are asking how we can send the multi-part form request and and uh, one of the solution which is given so the copy and paste added this so editing can result into syntax error you may do a multiple edits and then hit and try so need not to worry about it with this quick trick we can confidently say that whatever request or that this body is being generated with this call is will work for you 100 percently so you just need to copy this copy to notepad and go to this uh, content so just remove this content piece that's it it's not needed 
we what we want just content type and this multi part so you can see like first header contains the name of the file because we want to upload this file and this is the name of that attribute which we uh, actually created and this body which is constructed like this with the content actual base 64 content and this threshold is the other attribute so because it has changed that, that to base 64 you can keep it like this it will work but if you wish to just again do a plain text then you can do it i'll just copy this one and we are going to create one new flow so that we can call we can make one http call with this multi-part request so i'll just again open this make.powerautomate.com and we'll create one more dummy flow so right now in our sample we will be calling the same flow because we know that it will accept our http request with multi-part data otherwise like in your real-time scenario you may be having custom api which can expect binary data large and binary data or file data so there you can use this technique so i'll just say manually trigger so the main objective is like you can construct your this entire body in just quick few seconds with confidence that it will be right so i'll just say http action so that we can call any http action with multi-part data so i'll just use this http and in method i'll be using post method and uri so as i said like you can have your custom apis where you want to post your this file data but in our case we'll be just using this uh, the same uh, url so i copied this url over here so we'll be just triggering this this will work as a dummy http request uh, for us so that we will be confident that our file is posting up in the headers we'll just say content type as multi-part form data and in body will be passing the body which we copied into a notepad from the previous steps and over here you will see that i would be having this my image which is tied up with this selfie attribute and it's a multi-part form data request so this will send out this will call this endpoint and pass on my file to this so i'll just save it we'll do a test run and in this our first flow the parent flow once this request is called as we were sending the email now i wish to fetch this email or the attachment whatever image we are passing and which is being passed from this call to this flow then we will be using one uh, attribute which can fetch up the uh, parameters from our this post call so in this send email i'll just go to the advanced options and over here i'll just say test jpg file and the attachment i'll be fetching the uh, content of the file which is being posted from this other flow the previous one which is via http call so i'll just use this and go to expression in this expression i'll use trigger multi-part body from index 0 and the content would be under content string so i'll just say content but this content we have to convert that to base 64 i'll just base to 64 to binary so i'll just use this function so that it can be embedded into my email as an attachment i'll just say okay and i'll save it and then we'll be ready for this flow test right and then this the child flow i'll just going to run so that we can make a http call and then we'll be expecting the our parent flow to capture that image and send that image as an attachment to our outlook email and it ran successfully it called that our http action and we'll go to this parent flow and we'll check whether it triggered or not so it triggered 30 seconds ago and we'll open the outlook to check whether we got any email with the attachment as we got this first as an success so we got this email and it does have attachment and this attachment is that test jpg file which we try to send so we were able to successfully call http action with multi-part form data and 
creating or generating that form data quickly via postman in just few clicks rather than writing complex syntax so that was the intent of this video and i hope like you like this trick and if you do if you have any comment then do drop your comments i'll try to look at it and try to respond to them so thank you that's it bye